Dom here from Essential RC. Thanks for tuning in for another flight test. I am wearing my iActive RC t-shirt, which means I am going to be reviewing another OMP hobby product. This is a 60 inch wingspan Edge 540. So uh, uh, an RC aeroplane for all our aerobatics and extreme 3D flying. Let's take the components out of the box. Let's see what we get. So I always like to show what it, this uh, looks like all packaged up in the box. This is the inner box. There was a thick cardboard outer box as well uh, to make sure there's absolutely no chance of it uh, getting damaged. And you can see that uh, all the components are in their separate compartments. So you've got the cowl there, the fuselage, and uh, got the side force generators there, the spats, everything is taped into the box so it can't move around. So <laughs> really well over engineered I'd say just to make sure that nothing happens while this uh, lovely looking model is in transit but I'm gonna unpack everything now and lay it out on the table so we can review the individual components. So job done, everything out of the box and unwrapped. Didn't take too long, five to ten minutes. So let's look at quickly at some of these components. So the fuselage here, nice uh, Kevlar reinforcement of the, the mount for the brushless electric motor that we're gonna put on the front and the cowl there you see over there. Let's uh, take off the canopy and the same inside reinforced with Kevlar and you've got car the carbon all the way down the back of the, the fuselage. And uh, <laughs> there's not a lot of it. This is gonna be so light to fly. Nicely applied scheme as well. So this is the ARF, almost ready to fly Edge 540. So airframe only, no electronics, but all the hardware is included. So you've got to find your own servos, receiver, you'd have to find your own receiver anyway, uh, speed controller, motor and uh, propeller. But I have opted for the recommended power setup from iActiveRC.com. So I've got the Sunny Sky brushless motor and speed controller there and a couple of EOLO propellers that are matched to that motor. But carrying on with the review of the components, so you can see here I've got side force generators to put on the outside of the wings, the horizontal stabilizer with the elevator already hinged, the rudder already hinged with those pin, pin hinges, so we've got to epoxy those into the back of the, the fuselage. Oh, it looks like we've already got um, servo extensions in place as well. That's a nice touch, so I don't have to struggle threading my own servo extensions down the back of the fuselage. Wings, so you can see the nice yellow scheme on top, and the uh, blue and yellow underneath. This come, it comes in three other colours. Um, look on iActiveRC.com for what else they've got in stock. What have I not showed you? And and these are all the uh, the hardware. So you've got the you got a spinner there, the undercarriage. These are this is a really nice touch. Not seen this before. I built a few models like this before, but look at these. This is for the top of the landing gear onto the fuselage. That will look really nice. Then you've got the wheels, a securing strap for your battery, and nicely done, uh, little bags of all the uh, hardware components. So, you, you know, as you step through the manual, it's obvious what you have to use next. That's a nice touch. So this does look really, really nice. It's an almost ready to fly kit, so it's going to take me a little bit longer to put this together than a plug and play kit, but, um, the instructions for this look really, really clear. So give me a little while, I'll be back down the flying field showing you this Edge 540 for the first time and we'll fly it. 
So here it is on the table all complete after about two and a half to three hours of work. I have to say it's pretty intuitive the way it goes together. You can't really go far wrong and you don't really need a manual to be honest if you just apply a bit of common sense. So rather than go through the assembly steps I thought I would just point out some of the quite clever design features. Starting with the wings one smart design feature I liked was this rubber grommet that holds the aileron servo lead in the place. Otherwise it might drop back inside the wing. When you get down to the flying field you want to attach the wings as quickly as possible so this makes it really quick. Put the aileron lead into the fuselage, make sure the anti-rotation pin engages into the side of the fuselage and then just twist the tab 90 degrees and connect up the aileron servo. Really simple. I use a clip to make sure the aileron servo lead can't come undone in flight. Another nice feature is this thin layer of foam that's already applied to the wing root so there's a tight fit between that and the fuselage. Then we've got these little clips that are designed into the formers all the way down the fuselage to keep the cables in place so they don't rattle around in flight. Sideforce generators or SFGs are of massive benefit to sustained knife edge flight so the attachment mechanism is really clever so you have this plastic strip and if you pull it towards the outer edge then it will make sure the washers are in the right place before you actually push the SFG onto the wing itself. So pull it away to keep the washers against the head of the bolts. Slide the SFG over those washers, pull it back and then turn to tighten the bolts up. Very clever. Going for the recommended Sunny Sky brushless motor and speed controller and EOLO prop just takes the headache out of selecting the power system. You can see here that I've zip tied the speed controller underneath the box which is reinforced with Kevlar and uh, I've used the provided spacers to mount the motor. Mounting the cowl it's important that you aim for about a two to three millimeter gap between the back of the spinner but make sure you put the canopy on when you do this fitting the holes in the canopy are pre-drilled and then just screw it on so there we are complete some really nice design features and it looks fantastic so let's take it down the flying field and fly it for the first time Dom, what do you have? So here we are, OMP Hobby, uh, Edge 540, 60 inch, running on 6S5, uh, 6S 4000s. Um, so, so easy to put together and some uh, real nice design features that I covered there. So uh, let's get it in the air, see how it flies. And we like OMP, don't we? we I mean, just the quality of their kits is beyond amazing. I have a couple of their helicopters and they are brilliant. Available from iactiverc.com. Our good friend Darren, UK and European supplier. Is this Maiden, Dom? Yes. Oh.
Is it recording now? It is, yeah. So oh, okay. uh, I know I was having a good time and I handed over the, uh, the, the sticks to my good friend Steve to show us what it really can do. Steve, how did that go? Is it all right? Not set up to his exact liking. It needed a bit more elevator throw, I think you were saying. All right, so that's the OMP Edge 540, 60 inch size on 6S 4000. Thanks very much, Steve. Cheers.